everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas episode 12! We've made it to 12! Uh, if you're new to the channel, we're doing Vlogmas with a twist here. We are doing a Disney tip per day uh, for dis visiting Disney parks around the world. So from December 1st to December 25th, a new Disney tip uh, for travelling to Disney parks. And today, we are talking about Walt Disney World once again, uh, because we are going back to one of my favourite things, which is food. I have my mince pie here, <laughs> uh, ready to go. Um, because we're talking about dining plans. So the thing we're talking about today is whether dining plans are enough food. But I think perhaps what would be more appropriate is whether dining plans are too much food, because I think that's probably more likely. <laughs> so first of all, I'm gonna do a little overview of dining plans. If you are planning on doing the dining plan, I suggest you do a little bit more research on what I'm gonna tell you, and just look it up in Google. You'll find loads of information on the dining plan. Do remember to search for 2018 dining plans though, if you're going in 2018, or whichever year you're going in, uh, because they, t they tend to change or alter in terms of prices and what you get year on year. So dining plans at Walt Disney World come in three flavours. Uh, quick service dining, which I'm going to cheat, uh, comes with two quick service meals, two snacks and one refillable mug. Uh, the deluxe dining, which is three meals at any restaurant um, and two snacks and one refillable mug. And my favourite, which is the one that we're talking about mostly today, and the recommendation, the standard regular dining plan, which comes with one quick service meal, one table service meal, two snacks for 2018, and one refillable mug, and, 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 some alcoholic beverages are included this year as well. So um, one is partial to a beer in the Disney parks, and when one went to Walt Disney World in 2016, um, the uh, alcoholic beverages were not included, but now they are for 2018. If you want more information on that, go check, check out Disney Tourist blog. They have a whole page of information about alcohol and what is and is not included in the dining plan for 2018. Now the big question for lots of people is, is this going to be enough food? Given that usually you have three meals a day and the regular dining plan actually only gives you two. Just the one quick service meal and the one table service meal. Well when I went to Walt Disney World last, uh, we did the dining plan and I can say it was definitely enough food. <laughs> Definitely. In fact, it was so much food that we left with dining credits unused uh, because, oh, quick service credits, we used all our table service credits, but we left with quick service credits unused because we physically could eat, not eat that much food. Now, a friend of mine asked me before he went with his family that what he was going to give his kids, uh, because unlike, you know, sort of adults who can shift their, their eating times quite easily, uh, kids don't shift their eating times quite as easily, and having that routine tends to be quite good for them, or, or it works very well for his family. Uh, I, I assured him that they would not need any extra food over their dining plan. And um, perhaps if they did need to do regular um, regular eating times, the best thing for them to do was to use their snack credits for breakfast foods. This is actually really easily done. Um, most sort of pastry, bready items, uh, can you can use your snack credits for those. I know in, the, in Sleepy Hollow, some of the waffles count as snack credits as well, not the fresh fruit one with the chocolate, that doesn't, that's quick service credit, sorry. Um, but other waffles count as, count as snack credits and that's an easy breakfast for you to have and it's huge. It's incredibly easy for you to use your snack credits as, a, as your breakfast meal and then use your quick service for lunch and your table service for dinner or vice versa depending on what works for you. Given we really did struggle to use our dining credits uh, completely in our Walt Disney World vacation, I really don't think that anybody is going to struggle with the amount of food that it is, apart from it being too much. I think nobody's going to feel like it's not enough food. It's definitely enough food. You may be thinking, if I'm going to be left with credits at the end, what is the point of me taking the dining plan? Well, I'll say that there's, there's two really good points about, about taking the dining plan still, and the reason why I'd recommend it. First of all, uh, taking using the dining plan means that you pay for your dining up front which means that when you go to Walt Disney World, you are stress-free from any money worries. It's really quite nice. You've already paid for your dining plan, so it's not as if when you go into restaurants and you see the bill and you're like, oh my god, it's really expensive. Uh, you do see the bill of how much it would have cost, um, but because you've already paid your dining plan or you got your dining plan as part of your vacation package, at the end of your bill, it will see loads of little zeros instead. So it will tell you how much the food was, and then you'll just see zeros because you, you paid with your dining plan credits. It's awesome. It really takes the stress away, and I can imagine that if you're in a 
large family and you're traveling around with them every time that you have to pay for everybody's food must really like make your heart skip a beat a little bit like parting with you know a hundred dollars or so for lunch must really go oh my gosh if you've prepaid that stress kind of goes away it's sort of like oh fantastic you know i don't need to worry we've done it already let's just enjoy our food the second thing is is you can use your unused dining credits to buy snacks and other sort of gifty souvenir -y foods to take back home with you when you leave. So if you go into sort of the, the bake shop or the candy shops or, or anything like this across uh, the resort area, you tend to find that you can use your dining credits to buy things like the Weber's Original Popcorn, which is awesome, uh, or any of the Goofy Candy Company uh, candies. I think the favourites for people to bring back is the Minnie's Bake Shop cookies. People love to bring those home and they're very, very good souvenirs. So with whatever dining credits you have left, you can downgrade them uh, if they're quick service. You can downgrade quick service dining credits and snacks and then you can spend all of those on uh, buying snack credity things to bring home with you as souvenirs so all in all the dining plan is 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 not just enough food it's way over the food that you probably need it's a stress-free way of enjoying dining at Disney World Resort, so um, I recommend it for that. And if you do have dining credits left over, don't worry. Uh, downgrade them, spend them on snacks, take them home as gifts for your loved ones and colleagues. So I hope this one has been helpful for you guys. I think tomorrow for uh, Vlogmas, I really want to call weekly vlog, but Vlogmas 13, uh, we are going to go, do you need to know Japanese? Uh, to go to Tokyo Disneyland and we'll talk a little bit about Chinese for Shanghai Disney as well. So I'll see you then. Thanks everyone. Bye!